because this is a ninth age battle report from pillage and plunder the mountain massacre tournament each summer in the uphills of Norway the Sylvan Elves have dropped two units in a counter thrust hold the center against preliminarily just fast cav on a chaos warriors of the dark god list the Sylvan Elf drop everything on the third drop circling around the center they're closest to the center of the two armies the chaos however have two portals put out the two coins where they can teleport to through the Helmholtz power. Oh, the Chaos side has deployed its Chaos Knights, blocks of warriors and the rest. The Helmholtz behind the impossible terrain. We'll make a Norwegian introduction right now. This will come to be a very good match for the first two years. And Christian and Eirik will also have a cool camp there. On turn one. The Wild Huntsmen, one of them with the redeploy banner, take the flank and all the poison arrows and archer arrows take down the fast cav which were chaffing this flank. No spells except Oaken Throne went through and another chaff rider fell to archer fire. Let's see now. The forest was moved six inches forwards. Chaos moves forwards with everything, and the Helma puts out a portal. Today, the Sylvan Elves shoot down another unit of fast cav on the flank here. They flee on a re-rollable eight, not because of the BSB, but because of a special rule. They have re-rolled, but they flee just like the other unit off the table. One more model is lost on this unit right there. No, no models are lost. And the Wild Huntsmen, they scurry to take the flank, where the Helmor is fleeing. Turn two for Chaos. Will the Dark Gods shine their gloom upon them? In round two, the Chaos take the center for one round by charging the Wild Huntsman. Sloppy measuring work by the Sylvan Elf player put them in line of sight of the Chaos Knights. They killed them without taking a wound. And look at this, the Chaos Warrior block has teleported through the portal into the center of the melee. In the turn of the third round, top of the Sylvan Elf, the Drives charge the Chaos Warriors. Only five in the front uh, get in, but they kill 15 Chaos Warriors with their buffs. By threatening to do the snipe spell on the general, they got through two buffs. The Chaos Warriors only killed four Drives after the Drives were, do were done. The Avatar of Nature kills some chaff and overruns into the Chaos Knights. The Forest Gods see it fit to chaff the other Chaos Warriors. The Drives take a Hellfire spell on them, losing four wounds. The Avatar of Nature, after charging the Chaos Lord, challenges him, losing three wounds, but taking one of the remaining wounds of the Chaos Lord. The Spearmen kill four charging warriors. The Chaos Knights get charged by Wild Huntsmen, but only lose five knights. They kill the Lord, kills the Avatar of Nature, they win the combat, and now it will be turn four for the Chaos. And they're in a good position right now. Having lost a lot of Chaos Warriors from shooting, but nonetheless, they have the flank of the Drives and the Avatar is, is dead. 
the Sylvan Elves are having a bout of bad strategic fortune right now. The Chaos Warriors with the Chosen Lord kill all 15 drives which had turned the flank, including the Dried Matriarchs. And uh, the Chaos Knights, however, do a bad move. They remove one knight which was killed by the Drives so that they don't overrun into the archers. However, there's not much left on the Chaos side, and the Sylvan Elves have a shooting face, a charging face, and a magic face now. The Forest Rangers only kill one Chaos Knight, failing to wound the all-important Lord. Uh, or he made the three saves. So they pursue the Forest Rangers, catch them, and pursue into the Forest Rangers. The Wild Huntsmen killed eight Chaos Warriors, but the Chaos Warriors and the Sorcerer made the break test. And we'll have to end in round five after the Chaos turn now. This is the only thing left, the Archers, the Helmo, the Chaos Lord, and the Pathfinders and the Sylvan Arch Druid. And of course the Wild Huntsmen, the three Wild Huntsmen, we've removed them from the table. Chaos wins by the objective and a thousand points difference.